we have two Cambridge Y margins here, one in goat skin and one in calf split. So I wanted to go over a little bit about the differences in these and what they both bring to the table because they're both very good. It really just uh, depends on what you want. So these are both wide margins, but one is a Concord. That just is a KJV Bible. And then the other one is just an ESV wide margin. Um, it is interesting to note how much wider the Concord is though than the ESV wide margin. Um, so looking at the goat skin, it's very pebbly, very nice, very floppy goat skin. Just very, very elegant. Nice spine work. Um, and it's the same really on the Concord. The Concord is a calf split, but it has nice grain. It's got a really nice spine. They have essentially the same spine, and they're both tooled in ribs. So it's very, very nice. The only difference is really that, that uh, Cambridge crest on the bottom, but that's just because it's a KJV Bible. They both have Holy Bible on the front. The calf split is not going to have any perimeter stitching. It's just going to have a line. So it's just going to have a tooled line around it that is going to continue on the back. And then obviously on the goat skin, you got the tooled, or sorry, the, the stitched perimeter. Uh, with the ribbons, you have nice ribbons on the on the Cambridge um, goat skin. I'm not sure if they're Beresford. Um, I don't think they're Beresford, but they are very nice. These are very nice ribbons. Um, and they're, I mean, if they're not Beresford, they fooled me. So I'm not, I'm not sure, but they're nice. On the calf split, they're very cheap. I mean, goes from like nice ribbons to very, very cheap. These are, these are like, these even look a little awkward with how big this Bible is, especially how massive the Concord is. You have these two little skinny ribbons. So, um, I mean, there's definitely, it's definitely a grade above with the goat skin. Um, okay, so the art, or the gilding. So the gilding on the goat skin is going to be that, um, it's going to have regular art gilding and underlay art, sorry, it's going to have regular gilding and underlay art gilding. So it's really going to be like a red under like gold, which is really nice if you can see that. Really, really nice. It's going to have head and tail bands, red and red and gold on both sides. And that's going to be a difference on the calf split. It's going to have that same head and tail band, but it's just going to have that gold gilding. And it's going to have no underlay gilding. So that's something to keep in mind. And you can definitely tell when you open up the Bible of the calf split because it's more difficult to see the gilding because there is no art gilding so um, okay so the inside so here's gonna be a big difference the inside of the goat skin is a synthetic liner this is going to make it very floppy it's going to last a long time even though it's not calf skin it's it's synthetic so it's gonna be it's gonna last a very long time it's very nice uh, but it's very 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 floppy so um, it depends if you like that. It's also going to be edge lined. So uh, that's going to keep the pages in um, a lot longer and also give it that flexibility. So that's nice about it being edge lined. Now, that's not to discredit the calf split. Because the calf split, just like if you've had a pit minion, um, you can you know that the whatever they put here, which it, it's a pace line, some sort of a pace line, pace down. But it seems like either just a very high end um, piece of of fabric it's just like a I don't know what to call it but it's just very nice it's it's a paste it's a paste on liner but it's like a high-end paste on liner and you know what I'm talking about if you've ever gotten like a cheap Bible you you can literally go like this and like and these will like flick up but whatever type of paste on liner they put on these is very high-end so that's very nice um, but the inside is exactly the same. There is no advantages at all. Whatever you get. Now this is KJV and this is ESV. But there is no advantages at all to having 
um, cast split verse go skin on the inside of the Bible. What I do want to point out, and I think this is the most important part to me, um, is portability. So I don't find the portability of the goat skin very good because literally it's so massive. Look at this. It's so massive and so floppy that it's awkward to take around. It's just extremely awkward. Like I, I don't, I don't enjoy that. I take, I take my Cambridge wide margin, uh, to church sometimes in my rebind and it's just awkward. It's, it's too big. It's a massive Bible. Um, and that's the same with the goat skin. So this is the advantage. If you want to take this places, I would actually recommend the calf split because it, it stays so firm and it's so nice. Look at this. This is a, this is a bigger Bible than this one. So it should be super floppy. Look at this. I'm doing the same thing. I am trying to make it as floppy as possible. There's almost no give. So that also means that when you open it, it's going to be able to stay open. Um, you can read from it. So it's going to be a little bit easier. It's not going to get super floppy where it's going to like bend over. Like, look at this. Look at that. I mean, you can't read that. So if you're a preacher, teacher, um, the goat skin version is, I would say, more of a desktop use. Just use it on a desktop. But I mean, look at that. It's like a, it's like a bird. And then you got the calf split and it just stays right open. You can read from it. Um, I would actually prefer the calf split myself um, not for longevity but for portability sake so um, also the calf split is going to be significantly cheaper than the goat skin so you can find these on evangelical bible you can find these on um, i think you can find these on christian book but they're gonna be a little bit more expensive you can find these on Amazon. They might be, I think they're just a, like a couple more dollars than they would be on like Evan, Evangelical Bible. But once again, if you don't buy these on Evangelical Bible for full, for the full, full price, try to get these cheaper off eBay or a Facebook Bible group like everything. Uh, Bibles, buy, sell, trade Bibles, something like that. Um, but they're both great Bibles. It's just, do you want the Bible to be super floppy? and have a little bit of upgrades or do you want the bible to be super stiff um, and have a little bit cheaper um, be a little bit made a little bit lesser in quality i don't want to say cheaper because it's made very very nice okay guys i hope that you found this review beneficial and I hope that you guys have a blessed rest of your day all right bye